Hello, my name is Paul Henry, Security and Forensic Analyst at Lumension. Welcome to our Patch Tuesday update for April 2011. No matter how you look at it, it's an ugly Patch Tuesday this month. There are over 17 bulletins this month, and over half of them, nine, are critical. We're seeing 64 patches in total, all but two provide for remote code execution. We are well into the new year, and things have not improved. In fact, they've gotten, in many regards, worse. Case in point. The recent revelation by RSA that the exploit of their tokens all began with an Adobe Flash module embedded within a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Most concerning about this is that at this very moment, there is yet another Adobe Flash vulnerability currently being exploited in the wild with no patch in sight. Time and time again, we're finding that spear phishing exploits are taking advantage of the weaknesses in third-party applications. Also last week, Condé Nast fell for an $8 million breach. Yet again, spear phishing. Most spear phishing attacks being reported involve taking advantage of these third-party applications. While the rest of the world is focusing on Windows, the bad guys are taking advantage of the applications we aren't patching with the free patch software, WSUS, that Microsoft makes available. With this patch release, we finally have our patches for the MHTML and SMB issues that reportedly have been causing some targeted pain on the public Internet. From a priority perspective, then, you will want to make sure that you get MS 11, 18, and 19, uh, and 20, perhaps, uh, installed first, followed by the remaining seven critical vulnerabilities and eight important ones. Now, something that may shock people for today's Patch Tuesday is Microsoft is not only patching PowerPoint, Excel, WordPad, etc., they're also patching Windows 3.5K. Now, people will certainly question why. Microsoft is patching 32 bugs in Win3.5K because, simply put, this is how many were reported. No need to fret, however, because all of these actually collapsed down to three uh, that really caused the vulnerabilities. Microsoft is simply following through and giving credit where credit is due to the individual that found each bug reported. So they're giving credit where credit is due for all of the 32 vulnerabilities that were in fact reported in Win35K. Beyond the patch updates, Microsoft also released two security advisories, including an update for Office 2010 and another IE patch uh, that was released today. Uh, this contains an update for a publicly exploited vulnerability. It's really important uh, because, you know, they're closing all vectors, it seems, of late. You know, looking at the bigger picture here, all of this is further evidence that our methods of securing our systems still aren't up to par. Yet again, Microsoft falls victim to third-party software, causing another major breach. Everyone seems to be placing the blame on Microsoft month after month for patching issues, but this is not just a Microsoft issue. Unless we're going to get busy patching all of the garbage we're installing on our systems, this will continue to be an issue. This has been our Patch Tuesday update for April 2011. Thank you for listening.